hello of Jesus. Where's our Jan? Well, that's what I'd like to know. He's not shown up yet. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought you'd gone out for a day. Not back till midnight. You know, well, it was too late. We'd got home and... What's keeping our Jack? <laughs> <laughs> so how about it? Are you game then? Yeah. I'm always game for a night out. OK, well, why don't we go and grab something to eat now? Pizza soon. Yeah, fine by me. We'll go to town and hit the clubs about 11. Brilliant. See you in the morning, Audrey. Capable of doing someone's hair without cutting their ear off, I hope. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Yeah, I did. I had a great time. How about a repeat performance, then? OK. Tonight? Can't tonight. Already spoken for. Someone I know. Maybe. OK, well, you let me know when you're free and we'll take it from there. OK. See ya. Right, well, let's be off. My uncle Fred's got a thing about punctuality. Well, what's he going to do if you're late? Don't you yet, no, I don't mind. It's an investment after all. You know, one day and all that. Not be that long either. Bloke his size. Smokes, likes his red meat and a drink. It's a good attack on legs. I don't think you should talk about folk like that, especially ones you don't know properly. Doesn't sound like a treat to all, that's all I'm saying. There's a good man, a right good man. Just keeps it getting that sort. Treats him like a slave. Yeah, well, he does ask for it. Yeah, well, there's no reason for people to take advantage of his good nature. Oh, hope you're not including me in that. None of my business, is it? No, it's not. Not since you dumped him anyway. You should we sit down for a bit? I'm sorry for Ashley. Why? He might come across as a bit soft, but he's going to be loaded soon enough. We both heard Audrey talking often enough about how rich Fred is. Oh, well, that's the point. I'm going to go to Ashley. He said, you know, one day and all that. Yeah, one day. Ashley's going to get a big shock. Fred's told Audrey he's got a secret or something. And it's all going to go to him. <sighs> Bummer. Yeah. Ashley's going to get zilch. Well, he hasn't got a clue. Obviously not. If you were in his position, you'd want somebody to tell you. It would be my old. I think you should tell him. He's got a right to know. sit there all night again, are you? I might pop off for one later. Yeah, well, make sure you do. The nicest possible sense, Ash. Get a life, eh? I'll get it. See ya. It's Ashley, eh? Where was this? Hiya. Hiya. Hi. Thought you might be on your own. Thought you might fancy a bit of company. Well, why not? Corkscrew. We'll go and get it. Any particular reason why you're here? Not that I'm complaining. <sighs> Max's idea. Didn't fancy another night in the pub? All right. I'm very glad. Right. I uh, better be off. I've uh, got to be up early in the morning. Yeah, well, thanks for coming. See you, Max. See you, Tom. <laughs> Been a long time. You me, you know. Yeah. A lot's happened since then. I didn't think we'd be back here though. Not like this. This is uh, this is Tom's idea, you know. Hey. He said it was something I had to do. You need a lad to tell to get that one, eh? To do what? Well, that is why you're here. You don't need to be awkward about it. Look, there's something I've got to tell you. Uh, pint, please, and I drive out one. Right, coming up. Thanks. You know, Ashley's taking this thing really badly. I don't blame him. And what do you do when you discover you have a long lost cousin? Especially one that'll do you out of your inheritance. I know, I just wish I kept a big gob shut now, though. Want to go for an engine after the film? Uh, I'll do. Good description. Two pints, please, Judy, and a spritzer. Right, up. I'll set these. Oh, cheers, I must have been feet. On your own, are you? You only are. That'll his night off. Typical. She ain't got a clue, has she? What do you mean? I'll treat his staff. Well, I quite like working for her. In fact, we're always going up to her for a sub. She's all right about it. Come on, Ash, drink up. I can't believe I'm spending another night in here. No, oh, thanks. Go on somewhere if you like. I can't be bothered now. Source the problem. Oh, where shall I stop? No man? 
Night, Natalie. So, thanks. Oh, we've been through this. I'm just checking. It only complicate things. You can't work with somebody when you're falling out. Yes, and I'm not having any of that because you'll either be ganging up on me or sulking. I'm just trying to cheer her up. Oh. I don't see what your problem is. You've got your own flat. And a pleasing visage. Hey? You're pretty. Thank you. What do you mean? Well, we'll skip brains then. And you've got a very good job, madam. And you're not married to my les. The, well, sounds like a full house to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know all this. So why aren't I flipping happy? Well, I don't know how you can live back at home when you've been living away. Well, even living at my dad's is better than living with Ashley. It's a right old woman. I'm not surprised you can't keep a woman more than five minutes. I'm not surprised though we do lolly either. You've got a flipping nerve, you have. Oh, who ask you? That's just been a flipping saint to put with you as long as he has done already. Here, here. And this isn't the first time you've slagged him off behind his back. <laughs> You're just as bad as he is. Neither of you've got a life. You're just jealous because me and my mates are having a laugh. I think the fact that you've got mates like Steve McDonald and Vikram says everything, doesn't it? Because I wouldn't want them in my place either. <laughs> no. Difference is, you can get them into your place. Got my taste in there. Leanne, a word. Oh, I'll be with you in a minute. Go on. I can't see it. Can't see what? You went out with him. So I went out with him. Is it made in heaven, then? No, it's just sweet. Sweet? He's a butcher. So? Well, he cuts up dead animals. Yes, that's what butchers do. I'm not mood orders in today. I want to ask her something. What? Time off? No, I want to ask her whether I can decorate the flat. What do you think she's going to say? She'll say who's paying. All right, all right, keep your shirt on. Thought you might need to wake up. No, I didn't, actually. I've been up about an hour. Not a bit much of a night, then. Yeah, it was. I was proposed to. Honest? Yeah, and before you ruin it by saying who was he and was he sober, it was Ashley, and yes, he was. And what did you say? Well, we decided that I should have some time to think about it, which is what I've been doing. And you're going to say yes? Yes or no, and I'm going to tell him before I tell you. You are, though. It's written all over your face. So I know you could do 11.30 next week. Yeah. That... All right, see yes. you then. Yes. OK, yes. bye. Bye. Here we go. Oh, oh great. Oh, thank you. So did you have a good time last night then? Pretty good, yeah. You're going to tell her? Tell me what? Ashley proposed to me last night, just before it all finished. Snap! Well, I proposed to you as well. No, but his uncle did. You're joking. No, I'm not. Must have been just at the same time, just before we were going on. Probably used the same words. So what, what did you say to Ashley? Well, I didn't give him an answer. No, I haven't given Fred one either. Oh, how remarkable. <laughs> you sure they weren't having a bet? Or a competition? First to find somebody who'll marry and wins. Well, skinny if they were. Yeah, not serious. Well, I am. I mean, they must have been up to summer. Can't be just a coincidence, can it? Oh, well, I'd say it with a drink more than coincidence. Anyway, what does it matter? Because we're both going to tell them to get lost. I mean, even if it was a bet, who cares? I mean, they're the losers, aren't they? No skin off our noses. Oh. I'll leave this conditioner. I can't believe Ashley. Oh, what's he done now? He's only got an ass dopey Gary Mallet to be his best man. Maxine! I know it's the groom's choice to choose who he wants, but Gary Mallet? I'm not going to have him on any of my photographs or do any speeches. All he knows is beer and babies. <laughs> Don't you say the silliest things when you're worried about your wedding, eh? Worried? I'm not worried. I'm suicidal. Max. Don't waste your breath, Tom. There's nothing you could say. The whole thing's just going to be a total disaster now. Dopey, is he? No, Judy, I was just joking. You weren't. I think a lot of Gary, he's really... Stupid, boring, embarrassing. No. I mean, he's no pin-up, but at least he's a real man. Judy. You no, know, I feel sorry for Ashley. Getting wed to a shallow little airhead like you. I'm sorry. At least Gary's got his brains up here, where they count, not stuffed down the front of the T-shirt. Oh, Judy. And it won't be him ruining your wedding photographs. Because with you on them, they'll already be a freak show. I want to go and hear about this fiancé fella of Lord's. It's not even one o'clock yet. It's what I say it is, so come on. You, Tom, and all, come on. I hope you're not going to be nasty about him as well. As well as what? 
Never mind. Oh, yeah. Ah, Ashley, hello. Isn't this a turn up about more getting married? Well, you know then. Yes, I do know. I can't wait to know more. Well, I'd rather find out who's going to be his best man at our wedding. Still thinking about it, Ash? No. I thought about it and I've decided. Hey, who? Boris. Who? Boris, my butcher's mate. No way, Ashley. Can we please go? Are you joking? No way. What's wrong with Boris? I'd rather have Gary Mallet. Excuse me. Oh, why don't you sort this out over a drink, eh? I mean, there must be some mate of Ashley's you can both agree on. I wish I knew who. Well, no sign of him yet. Spritz of please, Betty, and two pints. OK, love. You may as well get a whole round in. I'll get us a table. OK. How's your day, Thank you, Rafi. Uh, tell us about this mystery man of yours. As to where you met him for a start. Well, we met at Mayfield Court. He moved in when his wife died. When was that? Recently. So what else do you know about him? What's his background? Just because I asked you to give me away, Fred, it doesn't mean that I want you to start treating me like you were my father. <laughs> we're just interested, Maud. I mean, it's also very sudden, isn't it? Hey, it? Maud. It's not a shotgun wedding, is it? <laughs> yes, Ashley. It is, in a way. Hey. What do you mean, Maud? You don't mean you've been on this newfangled fertility treatment. <laughs> I meant we're forced by not having any time to waste. Oh. And we thought, seeing as we get along nicely, let's go for it. Say, Ashley, it's just struck me who Tom might take a shine to. Melanie. Who? What do you mean, who? The girl whose wedding day we took over. The girl who's going to be my bridesmaid. Oh, uh, it's just your turn, isn't she, Ashley? I don't know what Tom's type is. Oh, just being awkward. I'll introduce you to her next time she's over. Actually, maybe you should look after her on the wedding day. Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Of course, strictly speaking, that's the best man's job to look after the bridesmaid. It's only etiquette at weddings, isn't it, Ashley? I don't give a stuff what the wedding gets you is. I'm sick of hearing about it. I've also given him his ring back if I thought he meant that. <laughs> There you go. We had ours earlier on. Cheers. I need to ask you a big, big favour. Well, Ashley does really. Go on. I can't find anyone to be his best man. So I thought if you were coming to the wedding anyway, and you were the best man I could think of, I wondered if you'd do it. Please. Yeah, but... I mean, your best man's supposed to be somebody you've known for ages. You know, like your best mate from way back, whereas I don't no, even well, know No, well, you can get to know him, can't you? You've got time before the wedding. Yeah, but he won't want me. Of course he will. OK, he's not thought of it yet, but when I suggest it, he'll think the same as me. He'll be great at the job. It's not a matter of being great. It's a matter of being right. OK, well, if he asks you and he really means it, then will you? Oh, I suppose I wouldn't have much choice then, would I? OK, Mrs Nolan, you're about ready. Guess what? what? Tom's going to be his best man. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, well, I think so. I think Gary Mallet. I must say, I think Tom will look better in your photographs. Hiya. Hiya. Hello, lover. You remember Melanie? Yes, of course. You're going to be married soon, aren't you? In fact, aren't you both on the same day? No, not quite. Melanie was going to get married and it fell through. Because mm, I realised what a ratty were. Mm. Yeah, you got her slot, didn't you? Oh, yes, of course, I remember. I'm sorry, love. Well, never mind. You know, sometimes it's better to be the bridesmaid rather than the bride, eh? Especially when you've got a very good-looking best man about. What? He's your best man, is he? Yeah. Just signed him up. You we were dead. What did you think we're going to happen to him? Well, no, but I didn't know when. Then you should have asked. I bet you did. Oh, well, then she should have told us. Why didn't you tell us better? Oh, you'd have come, would you? Yes, of course. <laughs> Any road, he's gone now and we can't do nought about it. Except, have a drink in his memory. Now, what are you going to have for? Well, and you, Betty. Whatever you have, it's a double. And a pint for Ashley. He's going to meet us in here later. OK, another pint. Shall I get the table? Yeah, OK. So, what do you think? Do you fancy it? No. I don't fancy anybody these days. Oh, I felt like that. Soon wears off. <laughs> oh, here he is. Come here, give us a kiss. Mwah. Right. Hi, Melanie. Sorry I got delayed. Sausage machine were playing up. Now, anyway, now you're here, you can buy the drinks. Right, yeah. It's well, are you? Yeah, OK. Except I think Max is trying to get me off with your best man. Which I might as well tell you ain't going to work, cos right now, you know what to do with weddings. 
sorry. But we haven't got a best plan yet. Yeah, yeah. Tom, it works with you. She was telling me this morning. Uh, that's five sixty-five for your drinks. And do you want any food? Oh, go on, ask What's up, then? Women trouble. Oh, aye. Yeah, he's having difficulty getting his own way. No, no. I'm having difficulty getting anywhere. <laughs> well, there's only two things to do when that happens. Oh, well. Roll over for the easy life and take alcohol to pull the pin. All <laughs> right, lads. Room for another. It certainly is, but I think this lad needs another drink. All right. Pints all round, then? Yes, yeah, please. So. Look, you've got to let them know where they stand from the word go. Yeah. Otherwise, they just bounce all over you. None of this new man stuff. <laughs> new man? No, look, actually, it's a question of common sense. You let them think that they're making all the decisions, whereas... Whereas? Whereas they're not. Right. Right. How do you mean? Look, it's easy. Right. Oh, yeah, now. Look, it's just... Well, you divide the decisions into two major ones and minor ones. Exactly. You let her think that she's making all the major decisions, where in fact uh, you leave her all the minor ones. Exactly. Take me and June. I let her make all the minor decisions, like uh, the family budget and whoever goes on days out, and she leaves me all the major ones. Such as? Well, should we join a euro? And uh, where do we stand on genetically modified what's we call? Are you going? Yeah, I told Elsa it would be late. See ya. I'm gonna put my foot down. Right. Show her his boss. Right. right. And I'm not gonna fly anywhere. Right. And I'm gonna choose my own best man. So, sorry, Tom. I've no offence. Well, that's fine. It's your win. It's your choice. It is. You're right. I choose you. Right. I choose I am. Right. I'm with you. And now, I'm gonna tell her. Right. Go on. Hello, Mrs. Peacock to be. Where are you? I've got something to say. Yeah. Right, I want you to sit down, because I've got your dinner on. You're going to sit there while I pamper you. Well, I need to tell you something, Matt. I've been a right count to you. No, no. I have. I didn't realise you suffered from a scientifically proven disease. Do I? Yeah, you've got a terophobia. A travel agent told me. Other. Yeah, and I've looked into it, and you can go on courses to get over it. Can I? Yeah. Have you been drinking? Ah, oh, well, one or two off my own, Mike. <laughs> so you went through all this trouble for me? No trouble at all. Because I love you. I hate it when we went. You know. Hmm. Oh, what was it you had to say? You what? When you came in, you said you wanted to tell me something. Oh, Just, um... I'm determined to get over this flying problem. Mm. Um. I just love you now. Mm. No, it's too light. She wants a change? Oh, I know how much longer she'll be grey. Tom's asked for my professional advice. Nope. That'll be the day. Get off with it. Audrey can be so annoying sometimes. Anyone would think she was the boss. Ashley, get home all right this night. Yeah? You need to walk over from the Rovers. I suppose he told you what we were talking about. Whatever goes on between the groom and his best man is kept private. Best man? I know you love a few things when you sleep, but that's between you and Ashley. I'm just glad you're getting on, Ken. Well, we are, but uh, Gary was at the bar too. Mm, did he cause any bother? No. Good. Narrow escape there, then. Your much better long shot profile or close-up. There you go. Source is bad news, then. I'm afraid Ashley's turned very awkward. It's as if Gary might to be his best man. It's not bad news as far as I'm concerned. Not even news. Ashley and Gary told me all about it a couple of days ago. Oh, did they? I don't know what's going to Ashley. It's been really unreasonable. He is. Maxine. Mates, right? Are you sure it's not you that's being unreasonable? Mineral water, please. Yeah, flat or gassy. Uh, sparkling. Gassy. No, no, I'm not married, and uh, I'll tell you why I'm not, shall I? Go on. I have spent my life listening to married men complaining. Without exception, every married man I've spoken to wishes he were. I send them. Please. Well, still do, though. I'd say there's still a queue for that altar. <sighs> sure, find me, innit? Uh, 90p. Can't believe in a week's time it's all going to be over, and we 
are going to be on our honeymoon. Yes, we are. Actually, I brought you a sort of pre-wedding present. Oh, thanks. No, for Ashley. Oh. It's a book on flying. How to overcome your fears and enjoy it. Oh, cheers. That's very nice of you. And then the reading it doesn't work, you can always give it to me and I can hit you over the head with it. We're talking millimetres. Yeah, I know. That's the way I want him to look like, he's just as the aircraft. Maxine, will you go away? You're making me nervous. I don't know what you're worrying about. It'll be dyed orange back around if lads have got out there with it. Purple's more you. Well, you just look at him on your wedding day, see if I care. Cheers, I'll do that. Oh, dear, I'm going to go and get some milk. All right, lovely. Come on, you two, stop winding her up. She don't need any help from us. No. Actually, she's right. I'll leave the back. You don't want to look in too severe, do you? Yes. I'll be up, boss. Oh, right. Oh, about that guy. Yeah? Yeah. And we're only joking, you know. Yes, OK, bye. Um, back with the florist. Apparently, the bouquets will be ready at four if the bride would like to give them the once over. Of course she will. Ashley, were you listening? I said bouquets, brides and bridesmaids. Although she must have forgot to cancel Melanie's with all that girl and everything. I don't see how she's been so organised. Exactly. Come on, I mean, she checked every last detail. She didn't forget to cancel that bouquet. She was hoping there'd be someone there to carry it. She just wanted everything to be perfect. No, 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 don't be daft. Look, Sally Webster's done enough damage. I, I'm begging if she's going to come between me and you as well. Oh, 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 this is all you need. Look, I've got a nice bottle of wine at home in the fridge. No, nope. can't hide under the duvet forever. Whoever heard of stopping in on your end night? Whoever heard of going on your end night in your pyjamas? If anyone asks, it's fancy dress. Oh, that's it, in the morning, or I might forget where I put the keys for the ankles. Yeah, they're so tacky, you are not they? Never mind, I bought them. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, that's great, Mum. And listen, can we have a cocktail? Right. Cocktail, what kind do you want? Some long and rude. Oh, well, that narrows it down a bit, doesn't it? What do you reckon then, Vinny? Between the sheets or nucky on the beach? Oh, my back, you must be kidding. Oh, shame. Come on, Vinny. Oh, 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 oh,
that she owns that news agent on the corner. Actually, she got jilted at the altar. Oh, Don't man. sit there on your own, love. No, I'm fine, honestly. Oh, Sherry, we'd love it if you joined us. Go on, then. Oh, 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 Perhaps not, my love, Sherry. Oh. Hi, Sherry. Hello, Sherry. Sit down. Now, this oh, is a long oh, no. 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 there. Remind me how this works. Is it lemon then salt? Oh. oh, no, no. It's salt and then lemon salt. Oh, yes. The sky's the limit with speciality sausages. I bet you can't guess what won last year's speciality section in the national competition. Pork and banana. It's true, I'm not kidding. Pork and banana by an Irish butcher. <laughs> Mind you... I am very partial to venison sausage, me. Strong flavour. Wonderful texture. If God didn't want us to eat animals, why did he make them me flavoured? Ha, ha, ha! Me flavoured! <laughs> oh, it's a belter. Uh, where do you think you're going? I've just gone into the Rovers. You are? It's important. I'm just going to sign with Maxine. Uh, no chance, mate. Listen. If we're staying here, so are you. All right? It's two round. Come on. Pity about their jukebox. Aye. Uh, Holding on with a bit of music. You should have mentioned it when you were booking, really. About the committee meeting next door. Still, I'll say this for Fred. He makes a smashing sausage. Yeah, he does. Has anybody gone? Oh, no, Eric, come here. Listen, you've got to be kidding, mother, all right? I never kid, sir. You, you can tell that by looking at you. Oh, what's going on? She's not coming in. Oh. She's not suitably attired. Oh, 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 no She's a stripper. I'm sorry, look. She's not supposed to be attired. See, see, Stanley, this is most irregular. I'm going to have a word with Captain. Yeah, come on. Go 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 on. I'll take it off if you like. She'll kill me. Oh, shut up. A, a quiet drink, she says. Ah, well, we can't well, get so wet. It's yeah, me stag night. Yeah, but you, ah, sure. oh. There's nothing here, is there? Listen, oh. Fred, Fred tried, didn't he? Hey. Oh, 
Holy snap. Yeah. <laughs> Save me, please. You are? It's Maxine's mum. She wants to serve me up on toast. The breakfast. I thought she was looking for the bread and bread. We've just eaten something before the wedding. Well, after the night, he's had that's the least of his problems. Tom, where's the kitty? Because you know what they say about marriage, don't you? And, uh, and Natalie will vouch me on this one because she knows a lot about fellas. Oh, I'm uh, quite the little expert, me. Yeah. See, there's always one who loves, and there's always oh, one Sharon, who on. is loved. I think it's when we got home. Yeah. Which is great if you like our friend Sally, the one who is loved, but not so great if you're the one doing the loving. Come on, uh, Sharon. I think it's time we were going. Huh. Hey, well, that's not true, me and Maxine. We both love each other the same. Oh, oh yes. Yes. See, she thinks she can reach for that pipe and slip as well. She's got that ring on her finger. Don't be daft. Oh, it's only just starting, love. You mark my words. You can't relax. There's always some bitch waiting in the wings just to sink her claws into your man. And she, she could be your best mate. Or, or someone you've never even looked twice at before. That's enough. Oh. Now that's enough. Now come on. Get she might right. be older than you or, or faster than you. But she'll always know one of you too many tricks in the bedroom department. I said, get her out. Oh, <laughs> ignore her. She's drunk. Oh, Maxine, I am sorry. Still, you enjoy your day, won't you? Uh, just, just enjoy it. To marriage. Wall tiger. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it a bit early, Audrey? Oh, don't be a wet blanket, Tom. Love, it's a wedding. I don't know. Young folk today, they don't know how to enjoy themselves, do they? And where did you get to last night? Just as things were getting interesting. Well, it had been a long day, you know. Long day? See what I mean? We could teach him a thing or two, eh, Audrey? Oh, <laughs> I could make your hair curl. I wouldn't need no hot brush either. <laughs> Come on, Doreen, where's that daughter of yours? We can't start the celebrations without the bride. She was late for school and all, and now our own wedding. Maxine! Maxine, love, get yourself down here, or them bell ringers will be having arms down to their ankles. Oh. It's only nine o'clock. There's plenty of time, yeah. Tom, that depends. On what? Well, whether we're just touching up with a hint of blusher or raising from the dead. We're going to die. Raising from the dead. I do love to feel a young man running his fingers through my hair. Well, don't tell your husband I get the wrong idea about me. Don't worry, love. I'm keeping you all to myself. You wait till later. Oh, that coffee did the trick, Audrey. I feel loads better now. Well, that wasn't the coffee. That was the vodka I put in it. Oh, you didn't. Well, you'll never know now, will you? <laughs> no, not till I start dancing down the aisle to the wedding porch. Well, if you do, just tell the vicar you possess, sir. Eh? <laughs> Maybe you'll throw in one of them exorcisms for the price of the wedding. <laughs> Audrey, you are dreadful. Maybe. But, you know, your Ashley is going to be a very lucky chap today. You are going to knock his socks off in front of that church, I'm telling you. That's your head, Melanie. Me head? No problem. <laughs> well, no surprise. You know, excited and nervous. You look beautiful, Maxine. Oh, thank you. <coughs> oh, it's all thanks to Audrey. <laughs> I was feeling the effects of the night before, were you then? Just don't mention last night. Mm. I wonder if that's how that nutter Sharon's feeling this morning. Having trouble, love? Here, let me give you a hand. It's all right, Mrs. Heavey, I can manage. <sighs> oh, stop struggling. I won't bite you. Not while anyone's looking, anyway. There. Thank you. Excuse me. Is Maxine anywhere near ready, Melanie? Because the cars will be here soon. We haven't seen her in all her glory yet. Well, Haley was just giving it once over. All right. Are you all ready? Yes. yes. Oh, come on, let's see her. <laughs> Ta -da! Ta -da! Oh, Maxine. Look all right. All right, Maxine Love, you are beautiful. Now come on, have you got everything? Something old, something new, borrowed blue. 
No, I haven't got anything blue. Oh, has anybody got anything blue that uh, oh, Maxie can wear? Dear. Well, I've got blue underpants. Oh, yes. thank you. Wow, there must be something at home. I can pop back if you want. Right, ladies, the cars are here. Is the bride ready? Oh. No, I'm not. Uh, I've got an idea. Come on, Maxine, give us your hand. What are you doing, Audrey? Uh, this, I think. No, I'm not having blue nail polish on my fingers. I'm like I've trapped my fingers in a car door. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Maxine. Now, come on, hands out. No. Well, is there another shade of blue that yeah. you prefer? No, I hate blue. No, you don't. Now, come on, give us your hand. I do now. Come on, ladies, time's getting it's... on, and we don't want to uh, leave Uncle Mervyn with time and stands, especially not at a church. Oh! I can't be worrying about Mervyn at a time like this. This is a crisis. Do you want to see your daughter go down the aisle? Imperfect. Oh, come on, it's only tradition. I will not see my daughter have anything less than the perfect wedding in every detail. Now, show those fingernails, young lady. Mum! Come on. There's always another way of dressing a chicken. Melanie, Haley, get her shoes off. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> careful then with me dress. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. <gasps> Your carriage, my princess. Well, this is it. Next time I step foot on the street, I'll be Maxine Peacock. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounded a bit already. Take the plunge again? Or me personally? Oh, I wouldn't have thought so, man. Besides, if I ever cared for someone that much, I don't know whether I'd want to saddle her with me for the rest of her life, eh? You keep your eye on Uncle Mervyn, Derek. If you see him making a beeline for the bridesmaid, you'll be sure and heading him up. All right. Oh, you can rely on me. Now, Ashley, are you as strong as you look? I don't know. Depends what you're after. <laughs> of course he's strong. He's strong as a ball, is our Ashley. I say strong as a ball. What you are is what you eat. <laughs> what I want, Ashley, is for you to whisk Maxine off her feet. Do you think you could do that? Oh, of course you can. Go on, Ashley. Get up with her. Get up with her. Get up with her. Yes, boss, sir. You're looking forward to it? Yes, I am. Looking forward to my last gasp of freedom, too. How much longer is this going to set? Hey, shut up! It's got practice to carry over the threshold. Well, if he doesn't hurry up, I'll be carrying over the threshold with Ernie. Don't say that! I'm not kidding. <laughs> well, you must be feeling a bit emotional, Fred. I mean, Ashley being, you know, and... Well, I mean, you just stood there as his uncle. That is not where I'm stood, Audrey, love. I could be looking down from heaven above. And I'd be happy now within all my entire days. Ashley knows truth of who I am, and I am content. Well, I'm glad. Oh, see. Excuse me. Sorry, love. Sorry. Sorry. I love you. I know you do. And I love you too. Hey, Mrs. Peacock, see you. She's a beautiful bird. Oh, there they are. Melanie and Tom. Where have you been? You missed us cutting the cake. Things to do. Bridesmaid duties. Have a good time, Tom. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, Ash. Yeah, well, you just make sure Melanie has a good time, too. Every chance I get. <laughs> Come on, Mel, let's get a drink. So, how's your wedding day been? as good as you wanted. Excellent. Just perfect. Fred is quite a nifty mover on the dance